Mars, the fourth planet from the sun, got its name because of its red color. It looks red due to the high amounts of iron oxide contained in its soil. Mars is also the name of the Roman god of war, similar to the Greek god Ares. The planet's two satellites, Phobos and Deimos, were named after Ares' two sons. Mars is one of the four terrestrial planets and is 6,794 kilometers in diameter. Mars of it is just outside that of the Earth's, averaging 220 million kilometers away from the Sun. Its orbital period around the Sun is 686.98 days, and its rotational period is 24 hours, 37 minutes, and 23 seconds. Because Mars' orbital speed is half as fast as the Earth's, its seasons are twice as long as the Earth's seasons. Mars is roughly half the diameter of the Earth's, and 15% of its volume. Its circumference is 21,334 kilometers, and its rotational axis is 25.19 degrees, almost the same as the Earth's. So Mars has seasons just like the Earth does. Mars's orbital eccentricity is approximately 9%, which is larger than most other planets in our solar system. Only Mercury has a larger orbital eccentricity. Its surface area is only a quarter of the Earth's, and its volume is roughly one-tenth. In comparison to the Earth, Mars is quite small. Its density is 3,930 kilograms per cubic meter, which is smaller than the Earth's. The small density means that the internal structure of Mars is different from that of the Earth. In particular, it is estimated that the core inside of Mars is smaller than Earth's, and that it is made of elements that are lighter than those that make up the Earth's core. Mars orbits the solar system in oval shape. The point of the orbit closest to the Earth is 55 million kilometers away. The point farthest from the Earth is 410 million kilometers away, and the average distance is 225 million kilometers. The coldest surface temperature on Mars is minus 140 degrees Celsius. The hottest surface temperature is 200 degrees Celsius and the average surface temperature is minus 80 degrees Celsius. The low temperature is caused by the fact that Mars has a thin atmosphere that is unable to retain heat. Because of the low temperature, Mars has polar caps. The polar caps are two white areas in the polar regions of Mars that are covered in snow or ice, which means they are huge pieces of ice. The main component of the polar caps is dry ice which changes with Mars' seasons, getting bigger in winter and smaller in summer. In other words, the carbon dioxide ice sublimates in summer, so that the rock surface appears and then turns into ice again in winter. Mars' atmosphere is very thin, so the atmospheric pressure is very low, roughly 7.5 millibars. The atmosphere is around 95% carbon dioxide 3% nitrogen, and 1.6% argon. It also contains trace amounts of oxygen and water vapor. Mars's thin atmosphere is due to its small gravity. The atmospheric pressure around the planet's surface is 0.006 atm, roughly 0.75% of the Earth's atmosphere. The atmosphere of Mars has much lower concentration of oxygen than on Earth so we humans wouldn't be able to breathe there. The surface of Mars is made of basalt, and is mostly covered with iron oxide fine dust. It consists mostly of iron, and 60% is sulfur. The core of Mars is surrounded by a silicon mantle. Until 1965, when the Marine 4 flew close to Mars, people believed that there would be water on Mars due to the bright and dark patterns in Mars' polar regions the change periodically. The discovery of large amounts of ice created an expectation that there would be water and life on Mars. However, due to the low atmospheric pressure, liquid water cannot exist and there is no possibility of life on Mars. The topography of Mars is divided into a northern hemisphere and southern hemisphere. The northern hemisphere has flat plains all around made by lava. And the southern hemisphere has many altitudes, like depressions or craters due to meteorite collisions. 
This is why Mars' surface can be divided into two different places, and its brightness is also different too. The highest mountain in the solar system is 25,000 meters, or 25 kilometers high. That mountain can be found on Mars. A relatively small planet in the solar system has the highest mountain. That mountain, called Olympus, is located on a large highland called Thorissus. The mountain is three times the height of Mount Everest, which is the tallest mountain on Earth. A mountain of this height would reach the ozone layer in the stratosphere if it were on Earth. Considering that Mars is only half the size of Earth, Olympus is truly enormous. It's 550 kilometers wide, wide enough to cover the entire Korean peninsula. Because the mountain covers such a wide area, the slope is very gentle, despite its gigantic height. The slope is so gentle that for every one kilometer distance, the elevation only increases by 40 meters. Because of this gentle slope, the mountain is easy enough to climb by any man, woman or child. Despite its impressive height, the mountain could be climbed by anyone. It is so wide that it doesn't even look like a mountain. In addition, Mars also has the largest canyon in the solar system. The canyon, called Vels Marineris, is 3,000 to 4,000 kilometers long, 7 to 8 kilometers deep, and 500 kilometers wide. Mars is the most exploited planet among the planets of the solar system. Mars is a mysterious and scary neighbor planet since it is the closest planet to Earth and there is a possibility of life there. Unlike other planets, Mars has a great environment for exploring its surface since a probe can travel around on the planet's surface. To research Mars' surface, atmosphere and geography, America and many European countries have sent several probes to Mars including a lander, etc. NASA's Mars exploration started from the Mariner program in 1965. On June 14, 1965, the Mariner 4 took a closer photo of Mars while passing by it. And it took many photos over a long time, which showed craters like the Moon. Some of the craters were covered by frost, and they revealed Mars called night. Many spaceships, including the Mariner 6, 7, 8, 9, etc., were continuously sent to explore Mars. And now it is known that there are no living creatures on Mars. However, many people still have an interest in lingering attachment towards Mars, in hopes that there might be living creatures and that Mars can become a second Earth. In 1976, the Viking 1, 2 entered into Mars' orbit and landed on Mars' surface by using their landing module. Also, the Mars Global Surveyor of 1997 and the 2001 Mars Odyssey entered into Mars' orbit, observed the canyon and the marks that had been made by flowing water, and also found that there is a huge quantity of ice three kilometers under the surface in the South Pole area. So far, the Mars exploration plans of American Mariner, Viking, Global Surveyor, Pathfinder, and Odyssey, etc. have been very successful. And the Mars exploration plans will continue from now on, too.